Don't you just hate it uh, when you reach a point where you really want one design leak to happen and then the other from the same source looks crazy bogus? Because yes, we have some very, and I mean very, interesting leaks that show off the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and Z Fold 3's new design. And speaking of foldables, ming -Chi Quote just gave us some more details on the first foldable iPhone in ways that makes a lot more sense. And it seems that uh, Apple Music might continue taking steps ahead of Spotify when it comes to music quality sooner than expected. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, well, uh, May the 4th be with you, even if I know most of you don't really follow on these jokes anymore. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals, as uh, we know Mother's Day is coming, so we've had your back covered on PocketNow.com since pretty much last week. And remember, you can always skip these sections and just head to the news in case that's your preferred jam. Time code should be in the description. Let's start it off with the Galaxy S21 5G, which is currently $100 off on Amazon, leaving the entry-level model for $699. The OnePlus 8 Pro is also available for $100 off its original price tag, leaving the 256 gigs of storage variant for $899, though Seriously, OnePlus, it should be the 9 Pro with deals already. Now, Apple's brand new iPad Air, which is still considered to be one of my favorites, is still available for $74 off, leaving the Wi-Fi variant for $675 shipped. And finally, if you're looking for a Chromebook, the Google Pixel Book Go is currently $50 off, leaving the 128 gigs of storage model for $799, though I don't blame you if you look at the Galaxy Chromebook 2 for that matter. We have more deals on the Apple Watch, AirPods, Samsung Galaxy phones, and more in the description. But all right, let's talk about Google and accidental leaks that uh, by now I'm not even going to continue calling an accident. Like, Google, you're already late. Someone should already have this product at hand and making videos about it. Anyways, if you remember, we recently heard some rumors that claimed that Google was working on a more affordable variant of the Pixel Buds, the, the Pixel Buds A, and uh, well, now it's kind of official. I mean, Google's German store accidentally listed the Pixel Buds A series in their storefront. Sadly, we don't have much more information on this leak, but uh, some renders from last month showed these in forest green colors. I mean, showing similar design to what we have with the Pixel Buds. We're expecting to get these, I don't know, Google I.O., which is a couple of weeks away, and of course, with a more affordable price tag. Hopefully, we also get more information on some other hardware, Google, like seriously, and hey, if if you need help with these leaks, you know, somebody that does the video for you, I mean, just give us a call. Let's move the spotlight onto Apple, and I hope you like Apple and Samsung because we've got a lot of that today. Starting with Apple Music, as there is no denying that Cupertino needs to figure out, I don't know, how to shave off some success from Spotify's back one way or another, and it looks like the strategy is going to be focused on quality. The guys over at 9to5Mac have uncovered the mention of lossless Dolby Atmos and Dolby Atmos in the Apple Music code that's on iOS 14.6 beta a couple of days ago. Now, it is still unclear how they plan to implement this when it comes to software, but it is a clear nod that Apple is looking into high-fidelity experiences for their users users. And I mean, let's be real, the marketing on the AirPods Max calls out for this, and we know that's still not there. According to the report, the lossless tier wouldn't cost extra, but we don't know if that will extend to the Dolby modes. I, I don't know, it's just hard to predict. Now, as for timing, even if iOS 14.6 beta is already out, I wouldn't count on this happening just yet. The report also mentions that Apple will be announcing this lossless tier with the AirPods three, which are rumored until Q3. I mean, we'll see how good this is because Apple Music already sort of sounds better than Spotify on its higher quality tiers, but most people don't really care about that if they're stuck with Spotify or using Spotify, and I'm one of them. I prefer Spotify, actually. 
Now let's move on to Apple and foldables. And I agree, it's kind of early to keep giving this topic traction, but my problem is that if Ming-Chi Kuo took his time to cover this, it means something is coming given his track record. According to Kuo's latest research note, the foldable iPhone will come equipped with an eight inch Quad HD plus flexible OLED display that will be supplied by Samsung. He also mentions that Apple will ship anywhere between 15 to 20 million units of this foldable. And if you were expecting this to happen soon, well, not so much. About a month ago, we got another report from Quo that also mentioned that Cupertino would be introducing their foldable until 2023, and Quo just once again reiterated that time frame. Multiple leaks have hinted that this is more a phone than a tablet and will bring a clamshell design, though it's kind of early to discard the possibility that it could compete against the Z Fold or the Z Flip from Samsung. Other rumors also hint that we could expect Apple Pencil support and that Cupertino is working on self-healing display technology for this phone, which would be interesting to see, though that's not new. We saw it from LG. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's keep talking foldables, but move the spotlight onto Samsung, which already has been making them for a bit. We know that the company is gearing up towards a big year with their two versions of this, and now we have a ton of details that are both good and I would say bad. The leaks show us some promo material from both the Z Flip 3 and the Z Fold 3, which first popped up on Twitter. Now, as for the good part of this leak, the Z Flip 3 looks kind kind of hot. It brings a new design that is kind of reminiscent to the Pixel 2 days with all the color variants having a black section for the camera module. And speaking of that, we have a dual module, but probably the best part of it is that it seems that this outer display is significantly larger when compared to the thumb display that we had with the original Z Flip. Now, moving on to the Z Fold 3, we have a new triple camera array at the back that, well, it, I mean, it looks different, but not ultra at all. We were expecting for it to look something like the Galaxy S21 series and bring some ultra capabilities for the price, but nope. The promo material here also says that this is the first foldable with an under display camera, which is the reason why you don't see a cutout on the primary larger display. Finally, we also get to see the S Pen, which is a, th a thicker variant. It looks like it won't slide in and you'll have to just carry it separately. We're expecting for both of these phones to launch in the fall in typical Galaxy No time frame. We'll keep you posted on that, but let us know in the comments, which one of the two do you like? Because to be honest, I do feel that the Z Fold 3's leaks are bogus. I mean, they do not follow on the Samsung design language, which we've seen the company do for two years repeatedly. I mean, it makes no sense, and their design language right now looks pretty hot, a lot better than this. Uh, but in the case of that Z Flip 3, yeah, that looks really hot. It looks unique. I really want to try that out, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on Pocketdown.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me uh, miss Star Wars. They were okay movies. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.